From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Grass pollen still the primary pollen problem for many of us. It does drop down a little bit on Friday. And then as we head into the weekend, probably it'll drop a little bit more. 100 degrees is the record high set in 1891. The record low is 42 set 22 years ago. Record rainfall set in 1939. Yesterday we did manage to make it up to 89 degrees, so it's kind of a hot day across the Midlands, and it is starting to turn a little bit more humid as well. Haven't picked up any measurable rainfall at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport since Sunday when we picked up six hundredths of an inch of rain. As we do go through the afternoon and evening hours, there will be at least that potential for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, kind of isolated in nature, but you look out towards the north and west, you'll see a line of showers and storms kind of moving in latest from our in-house forecast model shows a pretty good line of showers and storms. Will it be quite this robust? Well, there's still some questions, but regardless, it does look like we'll have at least that chance for rain late tonight into early parts of Friday. There's some lingering showers kind of into early parts of Friday before the sun rises. The rain should be out of here and then we'll have another chance for some showers and storms Friday afternoon and Friday evening. That's seven o'clock and then as we go into about 11 o'clock, still more opportunities for hit or miss showers and storms. That's going to be the theme really over the next few days. Summertime like pattern, hit or miss showers and storms. Saturday we'll say kind of isolated activity at this point, maybe a slightly better chance for rain along the parts of the coastal region. Late in the day on Saturday, here comes another chance for, you guessed it, some showers and thunderstorms. Looking a little bit ahead, Sunday still that chance for some rain according to the European forecast model, and we can't rule out some rain on Monday, which is Memorial Day. As far as severe weather is concerned, we are under a very small risk for severe weather, at least for the northwestern part of the Palmetto State. That's for today, and then for tomorrow, a little bit more of the state under a very small risk for severe weather. If we were to have a severe or strong thunderstorm today, the greatest threat, primary threat, would be damaging wind gusts. Secondary threat would be hail, and that's going to be the same thing for Friday. Primary threat would be damaging wind gusts. Secondary threat being hail. Over the next seven days, could pick up anywhere from about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain. Isolated areas getting a little bit more. Today we'll have that small chance for a pop-up shower storm. Rain chances increasing this evening and tonight. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Heat index values today, possibly into the mid 90s. Low to mid 90s tomorrow and then heat index values around maybe 97 on Saturday. So make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids. If you are going to be doing anything outdoors, stay hydrated, especially with these temperatures climbing low 90s over the weekend. Each day there will be at least that small opportunity for a Pop-up shower or thunderstorm rain chances do start to decrease Tuesday. Temperatures decrease by Wednesday. Myrtle Beach forecast, more of the same, hit or miss. Showers and storms going to be possible over the holiday weekend. Charleston, more of the same. Have that opportunity for a little bit of rain over the weekend. And the forecast for Greenville, upstate, you guessed it. Pop-up showers and thunderstorms will be possible in the upstate as well. Warmer than normal conditions for a slice of South Carolina, May 30th through June 5th. And it looks like as far as the precipitation is concerned, we'll be pretty close to normal during that same time frame.